for effective academic writing using Microsoft Word, you need to have three things. You need to use a reference management tool. I talk about Zotero in a different video. Then uh, you need to use Grammarly or some other AI powered proofreading tool. And the third thing is that you need to understand word styles. Understanding word styles is important because it allows you to use the uh, outlining tool in Word. It also makes it easier to troubleshoot documents and make the documents look consistent. So here we have uh, the research notification document open in Word. And uh, this is something that you will, you will need to fill when you start collecting an MPLCA study for your master's thesis. And this is directly from the university website. This is a very messy document. We can see it um, in, a in a couple of different ways. First of all, when we open navigation pane, there is no structure here. So I would expect these uh, one, two, three, four, and so on to be shown as headings here. When we go to outline, the outlining tool contains empty paragraphs. There is no structure, this is all the text, and we can't collapse sections and so on like what we would normally be able to do here. The reason for that is that this is actually mostly just a single style and then manual formatting. How we can also, if you take a look at this, uh, this is gray, but then this is a different gray, so it's not fully consistent. This uh, difference between these two paragraphs where my cursor is, is different than uh, they are the separation between these two paragraphs. So all kinds of little inconsistencies here. This is our uh, indentation here is different from the indentation here and, and so on. And this indicates the stars are not used properly. So to start uh, using styles properly, uh, we need to first turn on paragraph marks to get a bit more information about the document. You can turn these off if they're distracting after you have fixed the document. So we can see here that instead of using spacing, this document uses an empty paragraph between paragraphs. And that is the reason why there are lots of empty paragraphs in, in the outline view, for example. Then uh, we need to have more information about styles. So we can open the styles window here. And there's, there's lots of styles here. And if you do, uh, if you think about this document, there's really like, like four kinds of text. So there's this text in, in the top. Then there is this paragraph style that is not intended. Then there's this heading. And then there's these content paragraphs that are intended. And there's, there's no legitimate reason to have like 30 different styles for all this. So what, what Word shows here is, is all different formatting combinations that we have here. So we can actually see that the indentation is not always the same. It just looks same. It's, it's 1.9 in most places, but then you can find it. It's 1.93 in one of these places. So what we need to do is, is remove all this unnecessary formatting. And how we uh, do the formatting is that we switch. How we work with the formatting is that we switch to uh, the draft view and the draft view um, gives us a bit more information. Then we go to the uh, settings. So we go to file and then there is uh, options. Then in the advanced settings, you find this uh, style area pin with in draft and outline views. So we will set that to 10 centimeters and now it shows all the styles that we have. So we have style this all this is a uh, style paragraph. So this is style JYU Nimi, but all of this is paragraph. And what we need to do next is to decide uh, which styles are we actually going to use and then assign those styles and adjust those styles. I think I'm going to leave this as paragraph and then I'm going to make a new style for, for this indented paragraph and I'm going to call it paragraph indented. So I will create a new style from here and it is called paragraph indent. And now it's just an empty style. What we need to do next is to uh, assign the formatting to the style. And we, we can we find it from here from the list. So it is uh, paragraph indented here. And then we click on this icon here. And we do update paragraph indent to match selection. So we have uh, selected the paragraph that we want to format. So we first copy the styles, the formatting to the style. 
and then we can we can see that it just made this paragraph indent here without actually changing what the paragraph looks like. We can make working with the styles a bit more convenient if we use those styles that we actually want to have in the document here in the style gallery. So we have lots of stuff here. So we're going to remove and this main heading, this is heading one, we want to have it. This is the paragraph indented, we want to have it. And then this is normal style, we'll just take it out from there. And then we will add this paragraph style to the style gallery. That's the normal paragraph, then that's the indented one. So what we do now is that we just uh, choose these lines here and we choose paragraph indent. Now that's the proper style. We still need to deal with these uh, empty paragraphs here. And what we do is that we change the app, uh, we modify the paragraph indent and there is about one blank paragraph. So because we are we have 11 point font, we can add 12 point, point spacing here. And then we can delete these extra paragraphs here. And after this, the outlining view would work properly. So I'll just do this for, for the full document and then uh, speed up the video. Before we move forward, we need to also deal with the, uh, the headings. So this is going to be heading one because it's a heading and uh, it's going to be pa otsikko in Finnish. So we will update to match selection and now it's heading and then it needs to have space. So it's, we will add spacing. And then uh, 12 points after, then we eliminate this empty paragraph here. And now I will go and apply the styling to the remainder of the document. Apply heading and apply paragraph indent and remove this unnecessary, unnecessary spacing. And now we can see that the document outline works. So we have the, the headings of the outline. We have no unnecessary styles. We'll next need to uh, adjust the paragraph style to match these uh, documents, this, this text. And the paragraph style is kind of like a, a base style here in this document. So we don't want to have the, the base style edited because if we have the base style, if we do our uh, uh, if we update the paragraph here to, to match selection, then we will inherit that gray color. So what we can do instead is that uh, we can clear form a thing. So if something is hopelessly messy, like I don't know how to remove that gray background, we can do clear all and that just removes all formatting. And then uh, what we do next is that we we manually change the formatting and this applies the paragraph. So the font is size is 11 and it's Calibri. So we format it here. We do Calibri and then 11. Then we need to uh, view the ruler. So we do view the ruler and then we uh, adjust the uh, where the paragraph starts. So this is now the same font. It's well, it's, it's Times New Roman. It's supposed to be, it's Calibria. Calibri, Calibri, font size 11. And then we need to have spacing here in this style. And uh, the style is the paragraph style. We modify, we format the paragraph, and then we add spacing to delete this unnecessary empty paragraphs and just still have proper spacing here. We could do format paragraph and then we add spacing. Then we uh, copy the paragraph style from here. So we update paragraph to match the selection. And now we have the paragraph style set. And if we want to have this gray background here, th then we, uh, we apply the gray background again if we want. So it is that gray. And then this we're done. So this is. Uh, how you clean up Word documents. And after cleaning up the, the navigation pane works, then if we go view outline, 
the outline works. So we have a single, each of these bullets is one paragraph. Then we can do view first paragraph, on, first line only. So we can see if the paragraph topic sentence is still a compelling story and so on. So this is um, now a clean document that it's much easier, more, much more efficient to work with. We can then go back and turn on formatting mark if, if you don't like and go back to print view if you like working on the print view instead of the draft.